This is Matrix Lord 212, and I want to discuss the argument um, basically on how the Daleks are now scary and a big threat uh, to the Doctor. Um, basically, with the knowledge of the Doctor uh, battling him for 50 years, uh, with that memory taken and erased, uh, they don't they no longer fear the Doctor. So he's going to have a massive problem. Uh, trying to even reason with them or talk to them or even joke with them because on sight they'll probably like just shoot him. Um, so basically, uh, you know, he should be uh, more afraid than ever of the Daleks. Uh, also, too, we've never seen a Dalek episode where um, the Daleks have used uh, humans in such a way uh, where uh, with their technology that they basically could form Daleks out of um, inanimate objects or deceased uh, uh, human bodies or different things and it looked like something out of a horror movie I mean if you look at the episode in the eyes of a child uh, you would be scared because like you know like the, the Daleks have become they used to be really really scary back in the day uh, but then somewhere along the lines things went wrong and they became like action figures and toys and everything else like that where the kids like even Moffat said the kids would sleep with the dollar toy in the bed and stuff like that uh, but now he made them scary again I mean if, if you're a kid watching it you're gonna be pretty scared uh, you know you see a skeleton uh, you know less flesh a human with the Dalek stalk coming out of its head and talking in that voice I mean uh, I think they are pretty scary to kids now uh, and they are a massive, massive threat to the doctor because I think that's a bad thing. Because before, um, you know, they even said uh, that they don't want to kill him sometimes because they see him as evil. They see him uh, as, you know, the hatred, the rage, and, and, you know, they admired that. They looked up to that. So uh, even though he was an enemy, they were always looking for ingenious ways to finish him without uh, killing him. So uh, now, with that gone, and no memory whatsoever of the doctor, uh, they will just shoot. They will exterminate, and they won't even ask questions. Uh, now they ask question of Doctor Who because they're like, "Who are you?" Uh, so, you know, and that's another thing too. It probably extends to all the Doctor's companions as well as the TARDIS. Any mention of the Doctor whatsoever from the data bank gets erased. And like I said, the only person that has memories of the Doctor, as from the Daleks' point of view, is basically um, Davros, really, the creator of the Daleks, because, you know, if he ever came back into the picture, um, I'm sure he would inform them. Now, this also brings up uh, an interesting episode from Series 1, where the Doctor gave Mickey a virus to infect all the Earth's uh, computers to erase all memory of the Doctor uh, and any record. Now, of course, that never worked because um, there was always backup files and backup files that weren't connected to the internet and stuff like that. So, um, UNIT still has all records of the Doctor. Everybody on Earth has all records of the Doctor. Uh, so why wouldn't uh, a race as sophisticated as the Daleks have a backup somewhere? So, I don't know if this is going to last where the Daleks have no memory. I'm sure at some point in time they will remember everything. Uh, but also this leads into a new um, mystery going around and that is you know from some of the footage that they said of the Christmas special uh, they make it seem like no one remembers the doctor so um, could the silence use their powers to make the universe forget the doctor so that way when the question is asked nobody really cares. <laughs> Do you ever think of that? You imagine somebody asking a question that nobody cares about. That could be the only way they could avoid uh, what's coming. You know, they couldn't kill the doctor, so now what they're going to do is they're going to erase the whole entire universe uh, is memory of the doctor. Uh, so when the question is asked, uh, you know, nobody will care because they won't even know who he is. And I think that is what the big reveal is going to be in the 50th anniversary. The question will be asked, and no one will care. If there's no memory of the person, they don't care. He's just one doctor out of many. Uh, and I think that's what's going to happen. And when the answer, the answer is going to be that he is the doctor, and their memories will be restored. But you will never find out what his real name is is. Um, and I think that's what's going to happen for the 50th anniversary. Um, so let me know, know what you guys think. 
and leave your comments below. Take care. Bye for now.